Hey, welcome to another episode of JNB Tuning, where I post helpful yet entertaining video weekly. Well, guys, in today's episode, we are finally, finally installing our heater for this garage. So, anyways, guys, stay tuned because I'll be heading out to Princess Auto, and uh, they have uh, one of their heaters, uh, garage heaters, for sale. So I'm gonna go check it out. So stay tuned. Well, folks, check out what we just got. It's a 50,000 BTU for the garage. Uh, heater there and I'm gonna try and get it onto the uh, Golf R. I think it's gonna work. Just uh, tip it over and see if it'll fit. You have plenty of room here, that's for sure. That shouldn't be a problem. Just gotta remove that cover over there and that should uh, fit in nicely there. Got it in guys, so definitely off we go. Well, it fits pretty nicely there guys. Well folks, we're back in the shop and now here's the package. I pretty much uh, sliced it open already, but uh, basically guys, um, here's the whole brand new heater and um, here's the few braces that uh, we'll be attaching to be able to mount up uh, in the ceiling there and uh, get some manual. So we'll be unboxing this whole thing and uh, start working on it. I just want to show you the rest of the stuff that I'd be uh, working with and the parts that you need in, in doing so. Uh, behind me here, basically, I do have, of course, as you see the manual earlier on. The manual also came with uh, some, um, uh, you know, uh, fittings for if you wanted to convert this thing into a propane tank. Uh, we are going to be using the natural gas in the process. So we're, it's, it's basically the heater came with the fitting for the, uh, the natural gas. And uh, we got uh, some uh, stickers from Heatstar. Um, besides from the package, uh, the items that came with the package, uh, again, the two braces, uh, I also went out and got um, our pigtail there for our power source, power cord. I have uh, some braces here that I'll be mounting up in the ceiling to uh, basically uh, mount this whole, um, whole heating system. I'll be drilling holes on this solid metal here that I'll be mounting up there to be able to mount this whole uh, heating system. So I do have this two rods that I'll be cutting in, in half. Uh, so it's going to be about five inches each. And uh, this will be the thing that I'll be using to, to mount this whole uh, heating system. So uh, at the same time, I also bought um, this, uh, I have a pulley here that's basically it's a 500 pound pulley that I'll be attaching up in the middle there um, somehow and this will be something that I'll be using to hoist this whole um, heater up in the, um, the ceiling there. So and in the process I have few grommets or uh, vibration dampers or what you might call it uh, the isolator for the vibration because uh, this is basically being mounted up in my ceiling here which above this is my bonus room and my daughter's bedroom is just not not far away so I want to make sure that the vibrations are all isolated in that case prevent some of that noise and all the bolts and nuts that we'll be needing washers uh, to be able to hold this up and up in the ceiling there um, yeah that's pretty much it guys that's going to be all the items that I'll be working with and um, we'll go from there well, I just want to show you guys what I've done so far. Um, I've pretty much done the mock-up on how I wanted to position the uh, heating system here. Um, let me just climb up here and show you guys exactly what I have. So I've already uh, marked where the, um, the joists uh, are in the process. And uh, as you can see, guys, um, there's some uh, nail holes right there as a marker for me. So the rod, the, the longer rod will be going this way and it'll be nailed through those joists uh, in the process. And the one in the back will be also nailed back there. I've already marked where the um, actual braces that are attached to the heating, the heater itself. As you can see there, uh, there are some uh, marks right there, the oval shaped um, marks so that's where going to be my basis on where the um the mounting point will be based on the 
um, the size of the the width of the uh, the, he the heater itself as I marked it with the tape there so that's where uh, it's going to be at all my hookups uh, are going to be here there's the the gas pipe uh, and also my thermostat and my power right there it's a dedicated power um, 15 amp I believe um, and its own circuit in the process so yeah so that's what we have in terms of our mount here guys one is uh, basically for the back and one is for the front um, both of them are not identical um, they're slightly different one the, the one in the back is shorter as you can see it's shorter than the uh, the front and uh, at the same time the bolts basically line up with the bolt that was uh, uh, on the back here and also from the front so that's how that's going to be installed and uh, we'll put on the time lapse and uh, we'll go from there middle bolt uh, was a little bit um, offline and I noticed that the actual bar itself was a little bit bowed so I had to either pound this um, this bar a little bit to come down and I had to um, you know give it a force it down a little bit to get the bolt in I was able to I managed to to put it in it's fairly tight um, the spacing of the bolts I mean the actual um, um, what do you call this uh, holes on the actual bar itself, but it, 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 it basically made it. I just had to make sure that this is pushed down a little bit there to get it uh, in. So, time to install our power supply. Um. <coughs> we have our panel here. So most likely um, we either um, put a hole here or here to run our um, cord into this, but uh, technically it's just a simple straightforward black on black and white on white and ground in the process here guys. So fairly simple installation. Sorry, I didn't take the whole thing. In the process, it's fairly simple. Um, pretty much, I did inserted the um, uh, cord here from the bottom. I got one of this, um, a sort of one of those um, cord holder or a grommet in a sense that uh, basically holds the the um, the uh, uh, the cord in place. It won't be slipping off. Uh, and then I went on black on black, white on white, and our as you notice, guys, I added. Um, a little um, loop connector uh, and uh, basically screwed the the two grounds on the actual unit itself there so as you can see um, you know let's tighten there insert this baby in now this is not gonna come off as you can see guys it stays on there so now we'll just have to close this Our um, access panel and uh, away we go very simple guys there's nothing to it just make sure you get the proper um, what do you call this thing? The um, the power cord. Uh, I basically went and got the. Um, uh, I believe this is the 14 gauge. And um, yeah, it's the 14 gauge, and uh, basically the minimum is 12 gauge. 
it's uh, it's it's good enough for, for to power this um, unit here. Definitely. Well, folks, we are ending it here. Uh, this is going to be a multi-episode uh, project, and uh, in this episode here, basically, is just to prep the uh, heater up, uh, hook everything up that's required, and in preparation to uh, getting it uh, mounted. And uh, at least we got our our power cord in, in place. We got our braces in place and uh, we pretty much know where we're going to be mounting soon. Uh, so please stay tuned for the next episode, which is basically the creation of the brace that we will be mounting up in the ceiling and uh, technically getting our pulley up there as well in the whole nine yards. So well, at the same time, guys, if you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button and also give it a thumbs up, uh, ring that bell so you can get notified for all the videos going forward.